with the old and in with the new. There's my new build right there. I'm going to put up another video about how I made those fans be able to be controlled um, with a remote control like this right here. Red, blue, green. I'll put up another video about that. But this is my old machine. I didn't do a video about it. But this was my old 1600X system. So I'm just going to share a couple of thoughts about it. Let me boot it up right now. Wow, isn't she pretty? Right now I have it connected to this plasma screen right there. And um, quick system specs while it boots up over here real quick. Quick system specs is a Ryzen 1600X, 32 gigabytes of Corsair RGB, 3200 megahertz RAM, a Corsair H80i V2 uh, CPU cooler push pull, uh, Asus Aorus, uh, what is it, uh, AX370 um, motherboard, and that thermal take 550 watt power supply and I also have a just a 64 gig m.2 drive in it right now I took out the one gig to put in a new one and also that power supply is brand new thinking about selling it I'm not sure but um let me just turn it on real quick not too good with this come on you stuck it all right, there it is and it's um it's really nice what i like about this system over here is a msi carbon x470 and you could probably hear the fans for some reason i went into the bios i can't keep the fans quiet i have every time the system boots up i have to go inside of this um command center I have to change the profiles, and then I can get the fans to be quiet. While this machine, quiet as a bell. Also with this machine, I also have the remote going with the RGB fans as well. You can change the colors and stuff like that as well with this. And it also changes on the top with the power button. Kind of cool. But like getting back to the fans, like um, I think I I'm not sure I might go with another Asus board. I'm sorry, another Gigabyte board. This is a Gigabyte board. I might go with another Gigabyte board because it seems the default settings offer better fan management. I know folks are gonna say whatever, but I shouldn't have to go into my BIOS. I mean, not up up um utility that's quiet the fans every time I boot it up. But that's what I have to do with that. And um, let's see, me right now, I'm going to launch, apologize about my handshake, I'm not super good with this YouTube thing, let me make this a little bigger, I'm gonna go into IQ, come on, and there it is shows you pretty much what's connected to it the memory and the cooler so let me go into the cooler you can control cooler right there and I'm not sure if you could see it but I'm gonna bring it closer but look at those temps 28 degrees I would kill for an idle temp on this 3700 x6 x AMD that's 30 degrees. This thing idles at 50 degrees. So this Corsair Edge cooler is definitely doing its thing, but it's just at the 3700X. It kind of runs hot. During gaming, 100% fans, I, it just goes up to 79. But if the fans aren't at 100%, it'll go all the way up. I, I don't know. The highest I've seen it without really paying attention to the fans was 89 degrees. But this right here, I mean, I can run Furmark on this thing. The CPU stress test, CPU burner. Oops, sorry about that. Start. 
and if you look we'll let it run for about a second or two the mo furthest it'll go it hasn't even reached 29.4 you will be here for hours and the furthest it'll go is maybe 33 34 versus this system it's up there 78 79 degrees celsius Sorry, it finally went up to 30, 30.1, 30.2. I would let this run and then do a time lapse, but believe me, it doesn't really get that high. It's probably warming up the... And even then, listen how quiet this thing is. I got the glass cover off so you could see it a lot better, but in a way, this is a better system than the system I just built. Motherboard's better, quieter, and the CPU coolers I have over here are a Cooler Master, what is it, 240p? Decent. But it kind of is a little, little bit noisier than this HADIs. When I first connected this, I was like, is this thing even running? And then when I... Yep, yeah, it's on. So it's just nice and quiet. So let's see. This is still running right now. And it's up to 33. 33.2. So you will be here... It's so much <laughs> cooler of a CPU to 1600X than the 3700X. Again, I apologize. I'm just going to stop this real quick. Another thing I like about it is that... Uh, stop. And close. Is that you can control the light right here for the... Um, for the lighting effects for the C for the uh, CPU cooler. So right there, it's set to blue. If I want to make it red or whatever, just click red. And in a few seconds, boom, it turns to red. And within the software, you can have that change colors according to your CPU temperature, which is cool. Uh, this right here, it just runs off of the motherboard RGB, so the only way you could do that is that every fan and every uh, light would change according to CPU temperature. It isn't localized like this one. But there you have it. Out with the old and in with the new. But let me go to the front. These are Enermax fans. I have the cover off. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me turn this light back on. I have the cover off, the cover's over there, just because for some reason I have the uh, sensor for this with the cover on, it won't work. I, I must have put it up here when I had it before I had to kind of rebuild the system, to be honest with you. So let me change some colors right now. Let me go to yellow, blue, purple. Yeah, this is really cool. And you can um, change the dimness control with it as well. In a way, I wish that I should have gotten a uh, gigabyte board because then the system would be as nice as this one as far as um, fan management and stuff like that. But I like this one because the board isn't super crazy with the RGB. Just, you know, I'd wanted some RGB, but just the fans is good enough for me. But here you have it. That's my old system. I also have... Uh, Let's see. I don't want to search anything. Oh, the Joya Windows. Okay. Let me go to. Where's it at? Sorry about this. Downloads. Yeah, I have all. The most recent drivers for it right here for the new for the old system just downloaded them so I'm not sure what to do I mean this system it 
did me right. That video card in there is a GT730. The 1070 that I had for this system, I sold separately. But this doesn't have a um, integrated graphics, so I needed a cheap video card just to be able to have a display out. And the new card I have in there is a RTX 2080. But that's that. Uh, you might see some color. That's probably from the from the plasma TV. But um, that's pretty much it. Now I got this on video so if I sell it I'll at least have a memory of it uh, take care